So let's dive into the the bundles a little bit because I I have a lot of fun building bundles. How are you guys yeah. uh, finding those and ideas for bundles to build? Yeah, so typically we like to see what customers are shopping for and buying frequently together, you know, to figure out uh, bundles that could potentially crush. And also we're looking for what other people are doing, right? What are other people bundling with certain products? Um, and then before we create any bundles, we want to make sure that the sellers on the listing aren't the brand, aren't Amazon dominating the buy box to make sure that if I'm going to go through and spend the time to create these listings and get the images and optimize the SEO, that it's not going to get immediately removed after yeah. it goes live, you know? Yeah, for sure. That's, uh, I was just talking to a, a couple, uh, we had a kind of a coaching session and they were selling uh, some stuff from, I believe it was Fisher Price brand, and they kept getting taken down. You know, they yeah. were packaging stuff that goes along with it. Um, yeah. So, yeah, you can, when you start using those trademark terms, the automated bots can take down your listing pretty quickly sometime. Yes, absolutely, man. Absolutely. You know, but but I think what what a lot of people do early on, Todd, and and because we're talking about a lot of different things, right? The brand partnerships, the wholesale arbitrage in the beginning, and now bundles. I think what people do in the beginning is they spread themselves too thin. You know, they listen to something like this, and they're like, "Oh, I need a brand partnership. I need to create brand." And like, no, just focus on the build a business to a million bucks first, and then start yeah. branching into these other things. 